is that the first real big project where your multi-mode radio is getting uh, uh, installed, you know, it being used? Yes, yes, I think that's it. the first order since Hytera uh, launched our multi-mode radio or conversion solution. So One of the companies that is exhibiting here at the Mission Critical Africa is Hytera. Now, I'm going to talk to this gentleman here, and his name is Mark Zeng from Hytera. Hi. Angola. Yes. Uh, that's the magic word for Hytera, is it? At the moment here in, in Africa. Oh, yes. What's, ha what's happening there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's like a victory, so it feels very good. <laughs> After seven years hard work in Angola, uh, we have achieved a very very significant uh, progress. So the Ministry of uh, uh, Interior in Angola, they have awarded um, a national Tetra network uh, contract to Hytera just recently. So that contract covers 150 sites and uh, uh, 12,000 radios, including Tetra and our convergent multimode uh, radio, which is uh, Tetra and RT radio. Is that the first real big project where your multi-mode radio is getting uh, uh, installed, you know, it being used? Yes, yes, I think that's the first order since Hytera uh, launched our multi-mode radio or conversion solution. So in other words, that means if we want to know how the multi-mode mode radio works in real situation, real life situation, we have to go to Angola and test the radio there and see in a live environment how that radio is performing, is it? You can go there, but you can also, uh, you can also experience, yeah, there, right? you can also experience here. Yeah. Do you have more solutions being developed recently, right? That you're oh, yes. exhibiting here. Yeah. Show me what, a little bit what you have here about. Okay, like uh, uh, this EPAC solution. This EPAC solution. That is um, Hytera's uh, self networking DMR repeater. So if you use this device, you don't need sight, you don't need electricity and uh, all those infrastructure. So you can just use it um, like that with built-in battery. So it supports up to 32 hops. So you can build a very large emergent wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. The EPAC, is that a DMR system? Yes, a that's DMR a, system. A, that's a standalone solution? Yes. That's a meshing standalone solution? Yes. It's a like meshing, meshing DMR standalone solution? Oh, yes. Amazing. I've never it? heard about that before. Yeah, because it's for um, mission critical, especially emergent, um, emergency customer, for emergency uh, scenario. When there's no coverage, when there's disaster, you know, yes. all the infrastructure are gone, and you can use this solution for that scenario. A quick rapid deployment uh, yes, rapid DMR deploy. system. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I walked past this device a few times. I didn't know what it exactly was, um, and I thought it was a nice, nice designed uh, piece of uh, metal here. But uh, now I understand what it can do. Broadband mesh. Yeah, broadband mesh. LT. Yes. Ad hoc. Yeah. PPDR can sure. benefit from that. Yeah. Rapid deployment. Police forces. All you can imagine about uh, emergency communication, it can bring to you. That's relatively new as well, is it? Yes, it's also a new product this year. We launched. I spoke to GS Cox some time ago, and he said uh, every single month we are producing a new product. It's pretty right on schedule, right? Yeah, but you have to remember, Hytera has about 10,000 employees, and three to 4,000 are engineers, R&D engineers. So Hytera has three to 4,000 engineers? Yes. Special Specializing DMR, Tetra, RT development. So they are doing their best to release new products, new solutions well, for mission critical user every day. You say they're doing their best. I think they're doing their utmost to do yeah, that. Yeah, sure, definitely. It, and, it, and it pays off, right? Yes, definitely. And especially this year, you know, Hytera has acquired Sephora, Tautronic, 
Norset companies. Norset as well, yes. Yeah. We tend to forget Norset actually in all of the conversations. Yeah. So what is the benefit of Norset to Hytera? Uh, Norset provides uh, satellite communication and they also have uh, uh, a Sinclair uh, antenna, a product line. So because Hytera wants to build an um, ecosystem that covers all critical communications, satellite links, you know, all those things. So we're not only doing the Amar Tetra, we also want to expand to other so, technologies. So the Norset benefits all of these solutions yes, globally? Yes, and we can also uh, link Hytera's Tetra or the Amar base station with this satellite uh, links. So everything's possible, and especially in Africa, where the infrastructure is now so developed. The links will be very essential for implementing the, the network, and uh, Norset will help us. And I think that Hytera is definitely prepared for the future here, here in South Africa, but not only in South Africa, I think globally actually. With all of the new solutions that the company just released, uh, the DMR, Rapid Deployable DMR, the Meshing Network LTE, the new uh, the dual mode radio, um, there is no doubt that this company definitely will continue developing new products into the future. Um, we didn't talk about safe cities though, but all of these solutions can be deployed in a safe city environment. I wonder what happens next. Software solutions?